back down the river and the river is down as usual. It's probably about five, six foot down. And today, well, today's a special day because today I'm gonna throw this whopper plopper. I kind of made a mistake last night and took this thing out pre-fishing and ended up catching my PB from the shoreline. Hopefully these bass are still in that area because that's the area I was gonna fish today. So I'm gonna go back to that same spot and see if we can get on some big ones. I have not caught anything smaller than three pounds on this big bait. So let's load up the kayak and let's do some top water fishing. Let's see that in an instant replay. <laughs> Well guys, I got about 10 casts in and broke the only part I needed on the Chapo. I hit it against the front of the trolling motor, so uh, I guess we're not using this lure anymore. We're gonna go to back to fishing. <laughs> it is very shallow out here right now, so I'm gonna switch over to a frog. Ow. Gotta be quicker than that. That thing gave me a heart attack. <laughs> That's two. I don't think that uh, that bass was that big. They're just grabbing the ends of it. You get like a five pounder, they're gonna eat it. You get like a five pounder, they're gonna eat it. There she is. Yep, there she is. On the frog, baby. On the frog. Yes. That's what I'm talking about. Shoo! On the frog, baby. That is a beautiful fish. Got you on that one. Yeah. Whopper plopper wasn't working, went to this frog. Look at how fat she is. Got a little gut on her. There is no better rush than a top water bite. I mean, that is my all time favorite and I'm pretty sure it's all your guys' favorite too. I mean, you go to drop shotting or anything, it's whatever, but that bass comes out of there and whacks that thing. Most of the reaction is making that top water noise when you're actually hitting the water with the lure. It's making that whack sound and it sounds like there's a frenzy outside. So those bass will come out. So I might stay here for a couple more and just pick apart this spot and just keep throwing this frog. <laughs> They're in there, baby. Oh, this is awesome. That was a good one. Came right out of those, right out of that cover right there. I don't want to get too close, but. I'm literally sitting on top of two three pounders. I drove right over the top of them. I doubt they're going to hit this thing, but maybe they will. Maybe I'll piss them off enough. The small one went after it. I mean, I'm right over the top of them. I almost killed myself. Gotcha. <laughs> Looking for bass. They're underneath the kayak. 
I'm over here worried about the frog and everything. I look down, I'm in like two and a half, three feet of water right now. There's three, well, he's about a pound and a half, but there's three bass, and that's the release. <laughs> there's three bass right underneath me. I just flipped the drop shot. He came out and smoked it. All right, well, that was uh, like cheating. I mean, they swam up underneath the kayak. I had to see if I can drop shot him. I didn't think he was gonna hit it, but we caught the small one. All right, let's go back to frogging. Yeah, baby. Smoked it. Oh. <laughs> yeah, baby. Yeah, you smoked that thing. Jumped out of water on me. Not the biggest, but oh my gosh. Nothing like a top water. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Huh? Largy. That's awesome. Oh my gosh, that wrecked my wrist. There you go, bud. Nice large mouth, perfect hook set right on the top. Awesome. He came out of there like a whale. That was sweet. This is the dwindling water supply from the Colorado River. The next time you turn on your faucet at home, or just enjoy a day out on your favorite lake or reservoir, Take a minute to consider water is a finite resource. It's been a couple hours. It's almost getting to a point where I can stand up out here. I mean, I could stand right there for sure. So I'm down on ore. I'm gonna fish it all the way back. Frog was working there for a minute, but the water continues to go down. Well guys, the river is dropping so low, I'm gonna have to get off the water. As you can see, I was walking it in to get it back to the truck. Broke my favorite top water, right like probably the third cast of the morning. Hit it right off the front of the trolling motor and just shattered the spinning part so this thing's toast put on a frog the frog did excellent uh the first cast i think i shit myself and that bass came out of there and whacked that thing top water fishing is my favorite well besides breaking one of these but the river is going down so low really the only thing i could have thrown was a frog if there's another like foot and a half of water this would have been on fire no doubt but for right now i'm gonna pack it in and wait for the water to come back up like always i appreciate you guys watching and i'll catch you guys on the next one Peace.